You can now connect Thrive Leads to SendGrid both for email marketing and for transactional emails. And in this video, let's have a quick look at how to set it up. The first step is to log into your WordPress admin dashboard and go to the Thrive dashboard. And then from here in API connections, click on manage connections. Here we want to add a new connection and then from the drop down, note that I'm looking at the email marketing services list here. In this drop down, I choose SendGrid. And what we need is an API key. So the next step is to head over to SendGrid and log into the account there. In your SendGrid account, you wanna to go to settings and then API keys. And here we want to create an API key. We want a general API key and we give it a name and then what I recommend you do is just give full access or basically maximum access. If full access isn't available, give read access to everything. Even though we don't need that level of access in our integration right now, first of all, you don't need to worry about giving a lot of access because it's your own application on your own website. So you don't have to worry about, you know, what is a third party going to do with this access? And secondly, by giving all this access, it means that if we make changes, if we make updates and improvements to the API connection in the future, you can use the same key and the same connection. You don't have to update anything. So you go like this, click on save, and that gives you your API key. So you want to copy the entire thing right here, copy that, and then paste it in here in this API key field, and then click on connect. We see the success message, click on done, and that makes SendGrid available in your Thrive Leads options. In Thrive Leads, when you're editing an opt-in form, click on the opt-in form itself, then click on connect with service, create a new connection, go to the next step, and then choose send grid, which is now available in the list. And from here, you can choose whichever mailing list you want to add new subscribers to from this form. So this will just show you a list of all your mailing lists in send grid. And you can click on save, here on the next step, you have some form settings. And once these are saved, anyone who signs up through that opt-in form will be added to your SendGrid mailing list. Earlier, I mentioned that there are two ways in which you can use SendGrid. If I add another connection here, you will see that if we scroll down under email delivery, there is also a SendGrid email entry. Now, these are two different functions in your SendGrid account. The SendGrid email delivery service is what you can use for Thrive Leads asset delivery. So if you automatically want to send downloadables to people who sign up through your opt-in forms, that's what you can do with the asset delivery feature. And if you want to do this and use SendGrid, you need to create this connection. So to show it again, if you go to add new, you want to go to the heading email delivery and choose send grid email, you can use the same API key and make the connection. And so we have two different ways to use SendGrid. So that's a, the dual nature of the SendGrid service. But what you have to know is that basically you need to add the right one, right? This one, the SendGrid one is for email marketing and the SendGrid email one is for the asset delivery feature. 